So apparently many of you really love Lucy Boyton's look and one girl kindly asked me to recreate more looks so I put a little story to tell you that and ask you what looks do you want to see and many 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 of you want to see her Oscar look so this beautiful one I have little problem with this look because on some pictures it looks very rosy on some pictures looks more browny toned on some pictures looks like English rose it depends on lighting on flush on everything so I will try to re recreate the best that I could I'm so sorry that I don't have that beautiful Grace Kelly hair inspired hair but I do not know how to do hair I'm so clumsy when it comes to hair so bear with me and let's start I'm starting by applying strobe cream on the high points of my of my face because her face is very radiant very glowy very healthy healthy looking which I like so with this smaller brush I'm applying because I want more control more precision actually so I'm using this kind of brush because I want more coverage this is a red carpet look and it's logical that girls and and boys have have more coverage on their skin because of flash photography and it's red carpet so it's kind of normal so go go back and forth put one layer then put another where you need and just build up that foundation don't put just one thick layer all over your face and always use two brushes one to apply just foundation and another to buff buff everything in your in your skin before i turn on the camera i put that prep by clinic under under my eyes and now i'm applying concealer with this mac brush so look at the difference this is very good, very good concealer and it's good because you can build it up from medium to, to full coverage and I will put again strobe cream now on the top of my foundation because I want to settle that while I'm doing my eyes so I'm starting to create this eye look so I'm starting with sculpting powder by Kevin Aquan because I want to first give my eyes some shape and then see what I want to do which color first which color second so I will start with rosy rosy color from sweet peach palette I'm using same brush again Now I'm using the smallest amount of slightly darker, darker brown, brown color. It's not cold undertone, it's not too warm, kind of natural, I don't know. So my, my window is open so you can hear everything. So I'm sorry if that annoys you. I like to hear nature so her eyeshadow goes very far everything is almost smoked and very low down down here now under the eyes I think that here is more here is more pink and here is more brown it's not easy look as it seems it's really not not easy one so I'm using that from north here 
and that from Sweet Beach palette, first color. Here. I'm even not sure if colors are the same on my eyes because I mix many, many colors. And now I'm just checking the shape and everything. So here on this corner she has some gold so I will put gold no this is more white gold I have to find really I think that I can mix something because I don't have that exact shade that Michelle Baker showed on her stories but small amount nothing nothing dramatic And I over apply that. Never mind, I will blend out. This one is very pigmented from Sweet Peach Palette. This one. Crazy, crazy pigmented. I'm applying sparkly one on my eyelids. It's something between gold and and pink. It's very good for this look. And of course, tons and tons, plenty of black mascara. And I'm using the tip of the wand because her lashes are very, very separated. And now I want that look. And our contour, of course, she has small amounts of contour because small amounts <laughs> small amount of contour because that's red carpet and that's completely normal thing so i'm using kevin aquan on this very fluffy brush because i don't want so much i want just a touch so look straight in your mirror and put it where where you can see your shade, your bones. Don't put where you don't need. And she has very rosy, very, very nice with a blush. Nothing too much is going on there. She has slightly more on her here. Even not apples. It's blush made in very sculpty sculpty way as I can see here so I'm using my dandelion because it gives that freshness in your in your face and blush is almost in that C shape like like this And I'm applying this more, this one from NARS, just here, small amount. Fortunately, I don't have this lip, lip color. I'm using Q-tip and small amount of micellar water because I have some foundation left. And everything and I have quite a color on my on my lips so I think that I will put just balm once again just dab because I don't want that greasy finish and I want to leave it just like just like this nothing on the lip because her lips are quite natural looking and this is the finished result Lucy Boyton's Oscars look I think that she looked wonderful in that purple dress it's not too much but it's very it's beautiful and yes again see you in the next one have a nice rest of the day night wherever you are and bye